Welcome back to Cooking with Sarah. Today, we are going to do something a little bit different. Um, I've decided instead of just, you know, hopping all over the world and building restaurants, uh, Willem and Nillum, wherever I find a cool spot, I'm going to actually turn this whole little uh, area here into a kind of resort thing, country club, whatever. Of course, uh, we are standing here in front of the main restaurant, Chez Stompe which uh, still needs a little bit of work after one of the updates changed some of the blocks here, but that's okay. Uh, what we are doing today, let me get my hot bar back, we're going to play a little bit of golf today. So let us head on over here to the luxurious Stumpy's Resort one hole course. Well, one hole, yeah, that's... Oh. It's about as good as we're going to get here. Anyway, we do not have golf balls or golf clubs in Minecraft, but we do have bows and arrows. So I've got my uh, my good all-purpose fairway wood here. I'm just going to tee off. And I think that hit the fairway. I'm going to just um, stop by the drink cart here. And uh, hello, hello. I'm the owner. Yes. Uh, can I get a, um, let's see, what do I want? I'll get the beer. Thank you. And that's that's what you drink when you golf, right? You drink beer. I'm just gonna ah, there we go. The uh, livestock is part of the challenge. If you hit a cow or a pig or anything, you lose your ball and you add three strokes to your score. So let's see. The t the uh, pin is over here. So I've got one stroke. I'm going to oh, I guess I need to uh, get my club here. Shoot for the green. Let's see. Yes, it is just on the fringe. And I'm gonna... And there we go. I got a birdie. So that tells me that this is not the least bit realistic. <laughs> if I could get anywhere near par. But anyway. So... Uh, when we get done with our round of golf at our grueling one-hole golf course, it's time to have a so little something to eat, a little something to drink. So we have the little treetop grill here for country club members only. We'll just go climb on up here. Let go of my club while I'm climbing. This is our first level. This is our actual main level for the restaurant. We have open air, no windows. Nothing's going to climb up here. Nice little tables and chairs. These are all the uh, various hole-in-one folks here and their balls framed. Their um, balls immortalized. I'm not going to... What is that? I, d that? I don't need that here. Let me just... Um, maintenance must have left that there. Yeah, there's one there. And, uh, oh, here's mine. Yeah. Um, yeah, did not finish. I, um... Yeah. We're just going to leave that alone. Let's go to the kitchen. That's what you came here to see, right? Not my god-awful golf scores. <laughs> so here we have the kitchen of the treetop grill where we're going to make a few of our specialties here. And of course I've got my utensils on the wrong side of the kitchen, but that's okay. We're still under construction. Let's start off with a little appetizer. This is our hot wings. Just uh, good old-fashioned hot wings. You need to cook your chicken, which I'm doing over here. I've got some chicken chicken cooking. Take that chicken, wrench the wings off of it. Of course, I guess in this part, this uh, recipe here, we take all the rest of the chicken and kind of uh, twiddle it around to make it look like wings, too. We don't want to waste anything. Just uh, toss it up in a skillet with butter and our secret hot chili spices, and that will give you some nice spicy hot wings to munch on. And let me just, um, whew. Ah. In, <coughs> whew, those are not the waiver wings. We actually have a, a much spicier recipe that you have to be over 21 and sign a waiver to try. It's worth it, trust me. You want something a little bit more substantial and that will burn a little less skin off of your tongue. Let's try the BLT. The uh, good old-fashioned bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich will require a cutting board, some toast, which you get by smelting bread in a furnace, like so, or like so. Ta -da. That's not it. You need a cooked pork chop. You know how to cook pork chops. You'll also need tomatoes and lettuce. Just plop them in your crafting grid with your cutting board. Get yourself a sandwich. I'm probably not hungry enough to eat this. I think I think my mouth is still recovering from that wing. 
Yeah, I'll just save this for later. Whoops, I'll put that here. If you want something a little fancier, we have honey mustard or honey lemon lamb. You'll take your bakeware, put in some raw mutton, which you get from butchering sheep, mustard, which you get from running mustard through a juicer, and honey, you can use either the forestry honey drop or the Pam's honey, which you find in Pam's beehives. Lemons you can now get by bone mealing the ground, as well as a lot of other stuff you used to only be able to get through forestry. Thank you, thank you, Pam's Harvest Craft. So you take your lemon juice, squeeze it over your uh, mutton, add some honey and mustard sauce, and bake that at 350 until it's cooked all the way through and has a nice little caramelized crust on it. It's yummy. So two drinks here that we've got. Of course, your fancy sparkling water, which you get. And I've got to uh, get some, wa some more water to put in the presser here. You make your presser. You take some fresh waters. You put those fresh waters in the presser like so. I'll put my bucket away. And that will aerate the water and carbonate it and turn it into sparkling water. And I, I can't drink that right now. It's just as well. I don't know why people like this stuff. I, it's fancy, I, sure, but just, just drink straight up Avion, or not Avion, uh, Perrier. That's the one I'm thinking of. Well, product placement. Heh. Uh, not it doesn't taste good. It tastes like an Alka-Seltzer. I don't see what the appeal is. So, moving right along to another drink that some people just don't see the appeal of. What do you drink on the golf course? What did I drink down there? Of course, you drink beer. So, you take your agriculture brewer. You fill it up with water on this side. Put some fuel in it. Let me get my wheat out. And you just pop it in there. And brew it on down. And let me get some cups. Once that gets done, and there we go. Let's take that leftover wheat out. Oh, there we go. Have to do it one at a time. That's right. Dupe and dupe. Okay. I'll take these down and serve them up. Go ahead and take these down, and oh, I need to take some plates with me. Let's see. Can I have that plate? Okay, oh, can I have that plate? Thank oh, jeez. Didn't mean to do that. Let's put the counter back. There we go. Give me that plate. Let's take this stuff down to the dining room. And let's see. Let's plop a plate down here. And throw a... Oops. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Throw a BLT on it. Throw a plate here. Put some honey lemon lamb on it. And let's see if I can get a, uh, yeah, we can get a beer on the table. There we go. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you ordered the, uh, the Perrier, didn't you? Or the, um, the sparkling water. All righty. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today. Hope you enjoyed our little tour of the, the Stump Resort. And as always, if there is any kind of cuisine or a certain kind of restaurant you'd like to see, just give me a holler in the comments, and I will see what I can do for you. So we will see you next week. Until then, bon appetit, and good golfing, and whatever it is that you do, and have a good week. See you next time. Bye-bye.